as a leader, I, I have a responsibility to the employees of this business to run a business that defends the things that are our intellectual property, that are unique to us, that drive our economy. Packaging Technology Group is a business that designs, builds, and engineers shipping systems, and in particular, we do that for the biotech and the biopharmaceutical industry. Our core values are faith, relationship, courage, and creativity. And we want to walk as faithful people, and we believe that if we can have a commonality in things like integrity, then we can then walk in relationship. The most important part of our business, because we're engineering, is intellectual property, is secrets that we will both share with, it, with each other. Uh, for us as a company, very dynamic things, things that we're, we're trend-setting in the industry. The relationship we have with the client that we had conflict with was an excellent relationship. It had been over 10 years, and there was no um, clue whatsoever that there was any possible conflict in the future or on the horizon. Everything could not have been better. I'm the kind of person that I sign a contract and I never want to go back to it because the personal relationship is the most important thing. And in my entire business career, I've never had to pull a contract out of a drawer until now. What happened was, the, the breach was that some of those secrets were shared and they were shared with parties that never ever should have been party to those. That really put our business at risk in a, in a substantial way because everything that we are is about our ideas. When you're offended, the first thing you want to do is to lash out. And I had to really battle that because I wanted to lash out. I was hurt, I was wounded. The company was wounded. The Lord was saying to me to be still. And so it spoke to me clearly that I needed to not work in Bill's power, but I needed to work in God's power. Uh, the Bible says that we're supposed to be peaceable. We're, we're supposed to seek uh, to walk in unity with, with people as best we can. And part of living out who we are is coming directly to them and letting them know that this violation had happened. A lot of thought went into the final action that we took, which was to send to the executives of the company a letter. I didn't really know what to expect. My greatest hope was that they would receive it and take action. But once again, I found myself thinking, oh, okay, this can go a million different ways. We just don't know who this person is. When the senior executive came down and greeted us, he was very friendly and there was immediate rapport. We started sharing about our families and our life experiences as we walked to the end of the building where his offices were. When he shared that his son and daughter-in-law had just given birth to a child with a very rare disease, uh, immediately it impacted me because I am the father of a special needs son. I couldn't care what we were there for because God was all over me and all I could think about was ministering to this man and I really felt God shared with me while he was talking that this was uh, a mucopolysaccharide disease, exactly what my son had. I said, you know, was this mucopolysaccharide disease? And I gave some of the symptoms and he looked at me like I had three heads. He looked like he almost fell off his chair. And he said, oh my gosh, yes. And he was teary-eyed. The odds of that man also having a granddaughter that was just born with this very ultra rare disease, one in 1.5 million, uh, was, was, had to be an act of God. And I knew at that moment during the meeting, it's God's hand and I just can't believe it. I still stand in awe of the things that God does and, and God did in this. The wonderful thing about the story is not only did God show up for ministry, but God also restored the relationship just because He can, just because that's who He is. And today we have a restored relationship and a renewed contract and we are rebuilding the relationship and I am confident that where the break was, it will be stronger than it's ever been before.